if this isn't the most real before of my own mess that I've ever shown. I want to tackle this workshop space. I say that lightly because eventually I will get my workshop up and running. It's just at the moment. This right here is the workshop that is gonna encompass the office, the podcast studio, all my tools, like the main HQ. So it's gonna be quite some time till that sucker is up and running. To make it more obtainable, more realistic, and a little less overwhelming, I've decided to tackle corner by corner. And so I want to start with an office area. So I think that if I just start with the demo of this wall and this closet, I think that is way more realistic than trying to do the entire room because I have my podcast set going over to the right corner, which my Patreon people will be designing for me. And then I have like the actual tool workshop behind you in the other corner. And so this wall is going to be my sound studio and my workshop table. Fun. Now over here on this wall is going to be more the power tool wall. And this is where I have essentially everything that I need to do makeovers. Now, when you come over here, this is more the screws and sandpaper, and then we have a truly fridge situation, and any kind of toolboxes that I have that I need to kind of have overflow into is on this wall, and then I also have my workstation up there. This is built because a built was bed inside there, so that used to be the closet. So I need to demo that and this wall in its entirety because I will not be doing what I did in the guest room. I just wanna clear this out completely and start with the blank canvas whenever I do come back and visit after the workshop outside is completed. But this is the area that we will be making over in four days time. You ready? First day is demo and back to basics. Second day is DIY and what we need. Third and fourth is finding and styling. Let's go people. I went into lengthy detail about the story behind this custom bed into the closet. So if you want to see that, you can definitely click on over and, you know, check that out. But for now, I decided to focus on just a small closet, leave the bed as it was, and kind of just turn my attention towards the office space and then do the sound in podcast set at a later time. Now, if you guys are ready for this one. This, hands down, is the bed of my dreams when I was little because if anybody broke in, shut this and hide for safety and let me pop back out. <sighs> okay. I hate that the name of the game is making a mess to make another mess to do a makeover, but that's just what's happening. So I cleaned out into the living room area that I'm currently not using to get to this point than to grasp a vision. I really had no clue up until I started to demo to really decide where I was going to take it. It always has to get worse before it gets better. And when I started to demo, I realized that there are two layers of wallpaper on this. So it really discouraged me from demoing a ton, which means that I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. And I wanted to utilize the frame to my advantage. This was all thanks to Mr. Mike over at Modern Builds. I saw a story he posted and it was just a simple two by four frame for a workbench. And it kind of clicked in my head like, hey, why don't I just do that in this little office space, not have to spend the money on two by fours or lumber right now and work with what I have right in front of me. Okay, I think I got it this time. Okay. Oh, nails down. And now this piece should just, oh God, finally. Thank you. I thought you were gonna go down easier than this. After cleaning up the demo, you can really see how the frame will become our friend and we will be using the two by fours that are the middle support between the longer ones on the edges that made up the wall of the small closet as shelving, as an accent piece, something to work off of and work within this corner that is framed out by it to be the tiny office space. 
I wanted to take a quick second from future Rachel, who is insanely hyped over this tiny workspace situation, to tell you about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Now, what is a VPN, you may ask? Well, it is a virtual private network, which is a secure tunnel between your devices and the internet. VPNs protect you from online snooping, interference, and geo-blocking. It is also the easiest and most effective way for people to protect their internet traffic and keep their identities private online. With ExpressVPN, you can get your favorite apps and content wherever you are, and you can stay up to date even when you're far from home because you can say goodbye to restrictions and geo-blocking. I know Netflix has a ton of content, but I really didn't know that they restrict it based off of your location. And when you use ExpressVPN, you can access all that content that you love from anywhere in the world. I'm really excited because ExpressVPN has allowed me to go back to my Barcelona Netflix days where Modern Family was available. You can see here when ExpressVPN is off over here in the United States on my Netflix, Modern Family is not available. But once you turn it on, voila, there it is. You can find out how you can get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free by going to expressvpn.com slash Mets or click the link down in the description box. Again, that's expressvpn.com slash Mets or click the link down in the description box. Thank you so much to ExpressVPN for sponsoring and inspiring today's episode. But let's just jump back into the makeover, even though I already know what it looks like and it's fabulous. Bye. I most definitely did this paint idea wrong. If you mix joint compound within the paint, if you thin out joint compound and then mix it within the paint, then do this technique, you will get the textured paint that I was looking for. But essentially, I just painted a wall the long way with a spatula. <laughs> oh my god. I found this jumbo calendar years ago and repurchased it recently because I missed it so much. Now I have a DIY when I first started using power tools you can definitely check out, but for now I'm just gonna hang it up on the wall and frame it out a little bit differently this time. Hey, are you sleeping? Hmm? Are you snoozing? I'm gonna sleep right there, I gotta work. As much as it looks like it was pointless for me to demo out and then put the shelf back in, it really wasn't. I'm hanging it up in a different way with some trim to clean it up a bit and I wanted to remove the drywall off of the two by fours. So to add that shelf, we're gonna do a little extra detail to make this a little bit more unique than just your typical workstation. And mind you, this is totally temporary because this will turn into a second bedroom once the workshop's done. So I don't need to get crazy and take the wallpaper down because there's a bunch of wallpaper on here. That's future Rachel's problem. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna make something that works for, for us, you know? My whole take on this, as I've mentioned a million times, because it is temporary, I still wanted to make it cute. Like, I don't need it to look temporary just because it is temporary. It's kind of my whole approach to this, and I'm hoping that I'm accomplishing it, and obviously it's not everybody's style, but this is just the, the current introduction to the vibe of what this room will be. I moved forward with just adding that shelf back and trimming it out to clean it up. I also added trim to the sides of the 2x4s just to clean it up again. And then I had two L brackets that I found that are originally made for closets, I believe. Hung them at, at the very top and then added a smaller shelf, that rod as well, because there will be a plant up there that the vines can grow across to. I have done this desk build a ton of times here on my channel, most recent being the DIY vanity in the trailer guest house. I'm repeating the same process here, utilizing the frame to my advantage and then putting the desk where I see fit. That depth is totally fine for me. If it's fine to fit clothes, it's fine to fit my computer and my lanky arms. <laughs> Bear with me with the two by fours that we left exposed, okay? So I went to Home Depot and I had this idea to spray paint wooden rods copper. One closet rod that I was going to use is $20. When I went to the copper section, that varied from like $17 to $55. But when I looked over at PVC, it was $4 for the thickest one that I needed. And then I just needed to buy a couple of cans of spray paint which I moved forward with. I bought four eight foot pieces that I then cut in half and spray painted copper. While that was drying, I moved over to the middle supports and used the same size hole saw that I decided to use the thickness of the PVC and drilled four holes going across each middle support that all lined up with one another. Once the PVC dried, that's when I came through and aggressively shoved it into place. But I mean, look how absolutely gorgeous that is. Jesus, Callie just walked over that thing. Ay, 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 thank God it's just a gopher snake. 
As much as I love my handwriting, I didn't want to use them for labeling, so I kind of went back and forth between leather and this label maker. I like the label maker more, so I'll link that down below for you. I stopped by Walmart and picked up two two packs of these stackable lid containers that I just found in a random aisle. It was like an end display, but I really liked them because they really grooved into one another and didn't topple over. So I put those on the very top shelf. I don't know why every single makeover I thought I needed the world's largest cork cord. I don't. I just needed this small tiny piece to hang smaller pieces up that needed to remind me of certain things. So you learn as you go. My girl Miss Woodbrain decided to quit her job and pursue content creation full time which means she will be out here more often than you think so I decided to channel her into this workspace as well and take her planter idea that she did a total sliding door about a sliding door planter what in the world and I did three planter but mine do not move boxes along the two by fours that were the middle support that have the copper railing going behind so we're mixing the green the copper and the natural wood I've learned over the makeovers that less is more, at least for my workspace, so I have just a couple of details that I like on top of my desk, but mainly just my notepads, my clipboards are hung up to the left, and then my pens and pencils are only thing that are touching this wood. This is a tiny shelf that I bought at a random CVS ages ago, but you guys love it. It says sharper image on it. It plugs in, there's a bunch of different plugs within it, and then a shelf. I use it for a charging station for legitimately everything in my life. Oh my gosh, I'm sort of cringing at looking back over the office makeovers that I've done, but like I always say, practice makes progress, and my channel is really a whole example of that. But I have done so many different offices for so many different people, um, but this is really nice because as minimal as it is for me, it has a lot of personality, it's very calming, and it kind of makes you want to sit down and work, whereas with everything else, I used to like overwhelm this space, and the last time I loved working somewhere was my lounge office that was basically a living room. I did do a free Patreon post if you guys want to see the tour of the office space, like a little bit more in depth of how I use it, because I do have to say, even though this is the quote unquote smallest office space I've had, it is the one I have used the most and used the most of, which just makes me very happy. As I've said before, just because it's temporary doesn't mean it doesn't have to be cute. And just because it's small doesn't mean it can't be stylish as well. So I hope that I gave some sort of an example for that here today. Thank you guys so much for waiting seven months to get inside the house and start to make it over, even though this is a temporary tiny space. Trust me, next week you're going to see the guest bedroom, which ugh, gag me. It is so good. Oh, this is so fun. I haven't had a big whiteboard in so long. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so happy to have a workspace.